What's going on, everybody? It is Sunday, April 22nd, and we've got a pretty nice slate of uh, Sunday baseball. It's split up kind of weird. Um, the FanDuel main slate is just the 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock games, so the first nine. Uh, the DK games, uh, the DK slate also includes the 3 o'clock games. So I'm going to touch on everything in the two main slates uh, for this video gonna be a quick one just sort of walking through want to get it out there so that people can see it uh, before the game starts so diving right in also uh, big ups to somehow no hitting the Red Sox didn't see that one coming from Mania so good work I guess all right first game Orioles and Indians Orioles 2.9 run implied total Indians 4.6 uh, it's Andrew Kashner going for Baltimore Corey Kluber on the hill for Cleveland. 70% uh, chance to win for the Indians right now. Uh, not looking at Kashner at all. Not very good. Uh, obviously, Kluber is the play here. Um, of the two most expensive pitchers, at least on FanDuel, uh, I lean a little bit more towards Severino over Kluber, but I think they're both uh, excellent plays. They're two guys that I'm going to have a lot of. Uh, but Kluber looks great. He looks good on FanDuel. He looks good on DraftKings. I have no problems with Kluber. He's going to be in most of my lineups today. Uh, from a stack perspective, uh, no interest whatsoever in any Orioles. Uh, and I think that the Indians are one of the better stacks of the day. Um, you know, Kashner is unique, to say the least. Just not really a starter. Gets gets to gets bombed pretty quickly. So I love almost everything from the Indians. I think Lindor and Kipnis are both well, I think Lindor, Kipnis, Jose Martinez are all like really, really premium plays today. Um, I'm more than okay having some Michael Brantley, although I think he's a little expensive on FanDuel. Uh, I'm in for Yonder Alonso or Edwin Encarnacion. Um, if you need like a, you know, Tyler Naquin is $100 above minimum salary on FanDuel. I think that's a direction that's completely reasonable. Uh, the 4.6 implied total is, is good. Um, I'm just in for a lot of Indians. Those first three guys in particular, Lindor, Kipnis, and Ramirez, second base, third base, shortstop. You can't ask for a much better stack today. Next up, Yankees and Blue Jays. Uh, Yankees, five-run implied total. Blue Jays, 3.3. It's Luis Severino going for the Yankees. 68% chance to win. Jaime Garcia going for Toronto. I normally like Garcia. Uh, today is not that day. Uh, Severino and Kluber were getting them out of the way early. Uh, they're, without question to me, the two best pitching matchups of, on, on the board, whether that's FanDuel or DK. Uh, I'm just I'm 100% in on both guys. I think they both have really nice matchups. I don't have a ton of fear of the alternate lineups that they need to face. So I want them both, and I'm more than okay with that. From a stack perspective here, uh, similar to the last game, no way am I touching any Blue Jays. Um, there's just no reason to go against Severino in this case. If I'm looking at the Yankees... I prefer them a little bit more on DK than I do on FanDuel. Uh, they, they are showing up for me a little bit, but they're very expensive. They're not the most cost-efficient stack that's going to be on the board today. Uh, Glaber Torres got called up, so uh, we should see him. He's not on the FanDuel slate, but he is available on DK. Uh, I think that Stanton is probably one of the best plays of the day. He's a perfectly fine one-off bat today. Uh, not that expensive. Gets the matchup against the lefty. Um, a lot of people are going to be on Judge Stanton and Sanchez, I would assume. I haven't looked at any weather yet, so I guess I should probably do that as well. Otherwise, uh, everything that I'm saying is going to be absolutely useless. So, as I pull up the weather, Indians, fine. Yankees and Blue Jays, fine. Uh, looks like blowing out to right a little bit yeah sign me up for a yankee stack you're not going to get the most efficient um it's not going to be the most efficient stack dollar for dollar but there's not going to be a lot of teams that can beat the high end of judge stanton and sanchez against a lefty so 
try to work some Yankees in. Uh, I'll have like one or two down the, you know, down the roster type starting pitchers that might allow for it. So Yankee stack is perfectly acceptable. Uh, I like it a lot. I just don't love the prices, so it, it won't fit in as much as some of the others. But don't touch any Blue Jays and have as much Severino as you want. Rays and Twins. Uh, Rays, 4.2 run implied total. Twins, 3.8. It's a 54% chance to win for the Rays. Yanni Chirinos going... Oop, I should write my stacks and hitters articles, apparently. Boom. Uh, Yanni Chirinos going for the Rays. Phil Hughes going for Minnesota. Uh, I'm not really wild about either of these two guys. Um... I think that pitching for this game is a pass, or at least it is for me. You can maybe, maybe talk me into a little bit of Chirinos as a second starter on DK. I have another guy that I would prefer. Um, so I'm going to probably pass. I don't mind the first four guys in the Rays lineup as a stack. Spawn, CJ Krohn, uh, Carlos Gomes, and, and Brad Miller. Uh, prices aren't too bad, and Phil Hughes is incredibly hittable. Um, there's just not a lot of like high-end bats for the Rays, so it makes it a little difficult. For the Twins, you know, 3.8 run implied total is just, it's not a place where I'm getting really excited. In theory, I would like Maurer, Rosario, Logan Morrison, but uh, I'm pretty much avoiding this game in its entirety. Tigers and Royals. Uh, Tigers, 4.8 run implied total. Royals, 4.0. Uh, Francisco Liriano on the hill for Detroit. 59% chance to win. Eric Scogland going for Kansas City. Um, Liriano is fine. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a big problem with him on either site. He's probably a perfectly acceptable second starter on DK. Uh, as a lefty, you know, the the Royals bats that are actually any good are lefties, and that's uh, Moose Tacos and Luke Duda. So I don't have a problem running out Liriano. Um, I really like the Tigers bats. I think that a Tigers bat stack, any combo of the top five is really nice. Martin, Candelario, Cabrera, Castellanos, uh, V-Mart. Um, they're popping up a little bit for me as like my third or fourth most uh, active stack, so... I'm looking at the Tigers in particular. Um, you know, Miguel Cabrera looks really nice. 3,800 on FanDuel, 3,900 on DK against the lefty starter. You know, I can't get enough there. I feel, you know, pretty similar uh, for Castellanos. He's just a little bit more expensive. So any Tiger stack, I'm totally cool with. Um, from a Royals perspective, you know, you can take a Royal stack. They're not the worst idea from a price perspective, but I don't love the implied total. Four runs is not really the best. So they'll show up a little bit. I'll be okay with it, um, but it's not something I want to go wild about. No, uh, no weather concerns in that game either. Really what you want from this game are Tigers bats. Braves and Mets. Uh, Braves, 4.3 run implied total. Mets, 4.2. I'll take what I can get. 51% chance to win for the Braves. Uh, Fulty throwing for Atlanta. Zach Wheeler going for the Mets. I like Fulty today. Um, on both sites in particular. Uh, he's a guy that can get some Ks. Uh, I am not super duper worried about the Mets lineup. Uh, Conforto at the top of it all concerns me a little bit. Um, but Fulty's got the stuff to miss some bats. I'd be perfectly fine having him. Uh, the 4.2 run implied total for the Mets is not the best to have a guy as a starter, so I'll, I'll likely be limited here. Um, but I think he's in a good spot. I like cheering for the Braves too, so I might be that might be clouding my judgment. It also might not matter because as I look to my right, 90% uh, chance of rain from noon through 6 p.m. Uh, Best I can tell, this game does not look like it's going to happen. If it does, I would be very surprised. So, 
Ignore everything I just said. You're probably not going to want to play these guys. Phillies and Pirates. No weather concerns here. Um, Phillies 4.4 run implied total. Pirates 3.9. It's a 55% chance to win for the Phillies. Nick Pavetta going for Philadelphia. Trevor Williams on the hill for Pittsburgh. Uh, no interest whatsoever on Trevor Williams. Uh, might be my least favorite pitcher of the day. Uh, for Pavetta, um, I don't have a problem having him on either site. Uh, I'd probably lean a little bit more towards FanDuel than DK, uh, just because I would want to have one of Kluber or Severino. It seems like a lot to pay up, but you might be fine. Uh, we'll see when we run the crunches. But no issues with Pavetta. I have no fear of the Pirates lineup. Um, Philly Stack. Hernandez, Santana, Herrera, Hoskins, Nick Williams. Nick Williams, 2300 on FanDuel. I, I think that's an, a nice price for to do some homer chasing. Um, so I'd go anywhere in those top five for a Philly stack. Both sites. It's not the worst price in the world. They won't show up all that often for me, but I don't have a problem with it if you like them. And then for the Pirates, um, nothing, really. I wouldn't stack here. Uh, I don't have any one-off bats, so Phillies would be my only focus. Small amount of Philly stack, small amount of Pavetta, I think, is your best bet. Time to uh, just splice in the past six days' worth of shows. Brewers and Marlins, 5.3 run implied total for the Brewers. Four run implied total for the Marlins. 63% chance to win for Junior Guerra and Milwaukee. Uh, Caleb Smith on the hill for the Marlins. I like Guerra a little bit on FanDuel. I like Guerra pretty sizably on DK as well. Uh, I think he, they both work uh, if you're looking for, you know, like I'd be okay running out Junior Guerra uh, to get to one of those more expensive stacks like the Yankees. Um, I'd be fine with Guerra being a second starter on DraftKings. Surprise, surprise, the Brewer stack looks great. Uh, didn't go as well as I would have liked it to yesterday. Um, Yelich with a zero kind of bummed me out, but no reason not to go there. Caleb Smith, the lefty. We've got the Brewers starting off righty, righty, righty with Kane, Santana, Braun. Um, I think they're the three best guys on the board today. Uh, you know, particularly Santana and Braun on FanDuel. Prices are just ludicrous. Uh, Travis Shaw is is fine to have as part of a stack. Um, it's a lefty lefty, so it's not the best, but no problems there. I'm gonna have bits of this entire lineup. Uh, they'll be my most popular team. 5.3 run implied total, second highest. There's a Coors game as well, which is crazy. They've got a higher total by a half run than the Cubs or than the Rockies rather. So if you're looking for perspective or you know, reasons why the Brewers are grading out like they have for the past couple of days. It's because they're playing the Marlins, and the Marlins are bad. Um, get as many Brewers as you can in your lineup. It's uh, it's the best play of the day. Yeah, that's all I've got. White Sox and Astros. Uh, White Sox, 3.4 run implied total. Astros, 4.8. I've entered the Astros lineup wrong. So let's try to correct that while we're here. Somebody's not entered second. Who's projected to hit second? Altuve. What did I do to Altuve? Why isn't he in here? Just missed him, apparently. There we go. Now ah, we're dancing. Altuve. Okay. Um, I didn't read off everything, did I? 3.4 run implied total for the White Sox. 4.8 for the Astros. 65% chance to win for the Strohs. Ronaldo Lopez going for Chicago. Lance McCullers on the hill for Houston. Uh, I like McCullers. Um, uh, Ronaldo Lopez is nowhere near a lineup for me. If I were using McCullers, I would want to use him on FanDuel, where he's... $1,500 cheaper than Severino. He's only $400 cheaper than those two guys. Like, he's a part of the, the pay-up on DraftKings. So, I wouldn't touch McCullers at all on DraftKings. 
no reason to pay up in that same way. Uh, I know that um, his sort of performance fits more for DK than it does on FanDuel, but I would rather just have exposure to him on FanDuel, and I'd rather pay up for Severino or Kluber on DK. Uh, White Sox stack, not viable in my opinion. Astro stack, very viable. Uh, I'd go 1-5 to five very easily, and uh, you know I'm not going to say don't take Bregman. I like him, uh, but now that if he's going to be hitting 6th, uh, he's probably a little t- bit too expensive now. So anything 1-5 to five is fine if you need Bregman or if you want to go to Gaddis and need a catcher. I think that's all fine. Um, 4.8 run implied total is pretty nice. Like It's, it's hard to not like the Astros. Um, Ronaldo Lopez is okay. You know, he does miss bats, but he's a little wild. So hopefully Springer, Altuve, Correa, you know, Josh Reddick, who's been hot lately. They could all take advantage. I'll have a decent amount of Astros in my stacks tonight. Final game of the FanDuel slate. Cardinals and Reds. 4.3 run implied total for the Cardinals. I don't know if I hit that, so we'll hit it again just in case. Uh, 3.5 run implied total for the Reds. Um, Miles McCollis going for St. Louis. 59% chance to win. Luis Castillo going for the Reds. Uh, McCollis grades out as like my favorite value play from a pitching perspective. <clears throat> Very little fear of the Cardinals' bats right now, um, or of the Reds' bats right now. Sorry, uh, I think McCollis grades out really nicely on Fanduel, where he's got an excellent chance to pick up a win. And I think that as the middle of the pack, with a middle of the pack salary on DK, I think he would pair really nicely with uh, Kluber or Severino. Or if you really want to pay down, now nah, I would want to have Cooper or Severino. Um, Cardinal stack. Um, it's probably not a direction I would want to go all that much. I don't love their pricing. I don't really love a ton of the hitting in this game, just in general. Low-ish implied total. I can't imagine grabbing any reds. Uh, the only way you could go anywhere here, I think, would be the Cardinals and... You know, that would, I mean, for me, Dexter Fowler is pretty much always in play on FanDuel at the price that he's at, but I just like better stacks out there today. But McCollis is going to be a guy that I have a, a solid amount of, probably more than the field. Now, for uh, the DK peeps, we've got two more games to talk about. Rangers and Mariners, 4.4 run implied total for the Rangers, 4.1 for the Mariners. Um... Martin Perez, Martin Perez going for Texas, 53% chance to win. Erasmo Ramirez going for Seattle. Um, I don't want either of these two pitchers. And uh, I stopped looking at weather. Houston and Chicago is fine. Reds and Cardinals should be fine. Mariners and Rangers is fine. Cubs and Rockies is fine. Okay, no weather issues. So only weather you really need to pay attention to right now, Mets and Braves. And that game's probably just not going to happen. Um, I like stacks on both sides here. So I'd be more than okay having Chu, Profar, Mazzara, Gallo, Guzman, uh, Adrian Beltre. Uh, a Ranger stack looks really nice here. Uh, Erasmo Ramirez is Erasmo Ramirez. So don't have any problem grabbing a ton of those guys. They're really cheap on DK too, so they make for a natural stack. And uh, I feel the same way about the Mariners. I like the Mariner stack, actually. I want to say that I like them more just because of their price, but uh, I, it's probably the Rangers just because of the implied total. Uh, you know, I don't love the idea of having D. Gordon, you know, lefty-lefty, but I'm a little bit okay with it. But Segura looks fine. Nelson Cruz looks good. Uh, Mitch Hanniger looks good. Nelson Cruz just rakes lefties. So if you need any parts of this game... Um, I think a Rangers Mariner stack is very, very viable. And then finally, oh, I didn't hit the Rangers one, so whatever. It's fine. You'll figure it out it's sometime in between the Cardinals and Rockies. Uh, Rockies, 4.8 run implied total. Cubs, 5.5. It's a 57% chance to win for the Cubs. Uh, German Marquez going for Colorado. Jose Quintana going for the Cubs. Uh, don't really like using any pitching. 
in Colorado unless it's like a really crazy price situation. So Quintana is not a guy that I'm looking at today. Uh, Marquez either. Um, Cubs stack looks really nice. Almora, Baez, Bryant, Rizzo, Contreras, Schwarber. I'd go all the way down to six. And then for the Rockies, similar scenario. Uh, LeMahieu looks good. Ionetta exceptional when he can play against a lefty, hitting in the two-hole. Probably the best catcher play of the day. Arenado, Desmond, Story. All those guys look great. Um, I don't like paying 5600 for Blackman, but if it's part of a stack, you got to do what you got to do. So pitching-wise for me, it's very clearly Kluber and Severino. I wouldn't touch McCullers at all on DK. If I'm looking down the line, I would want a little bit of Fulte, a little bit of McCullers. Um, and if you're looking for a really weird one down the line, uh, Chirinos on DK, I think it makes for a nice cheap second starter. So I crunched before I uh, started the show so that I would have them here. When I ran the DK lines, lots of Kluber, lots of McCullough, lots of Severino. That's what I expected. Um, you're going to get one of those guys in basically every every lineup. Fulte, Junior Guerra coming up next. Liriano, Pavetta. I'm surprised to see Quintana. Um, that, that would be the pitching breakdown. Then we're looking at Indian stacks, Cub stacks, Tiger stacks as the three priorities. Um, Brewers then also in that mix. So they would be my first four stacks for FanDuel, uh, just in case I ran through that a bit too quick. Indians, Cubs, Tigers, and Brewers look to be the best stacks on DK. On FanDuel, at uh, overwhelmingly Indians and Brewers stacks, I have basically every combination I can get to there. And then uh, Royals popping up a little bit, which is surprising to me. Um, I'm going to look into that a little bit further. Um, Pitching-wise, 40% Kluber, 27% Severino, and then McCullers, McCullers, Pavetta, um, filling out exactly like I would like it from a pitching perspective. Um, so I'm going to end up with a lot of Indians and uh, and Brewers today uh, if, I, if I see this going the way that it does. So that's it. It's just a quick one. Sunday morning ones are tough to crank out because, honestly, I'm just sleepy. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We'll be back to our normal um, two-man booth uh, with Jake starting in the morning. Uh, pay attention tonight after lineups lock. So if you're hearing this now, uh, you may see a late-night video tonight. But you might see that. Um, like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Follow the website on Twitter at awesomeo underscore com. That's A-W-E-S-E-M-O underscore C-O-M. Uh, lots of content being cr cranked out every day. Uh, Awesomeo's rankings are now behind the paywall, so if you want to see that sort of stuff, you're going to need to subscribe to the website. Um, that's all I've got, guys. Enjoy your Sunday. Best of luck today. I'll see you guys in the morning.